In this video, we're going to focus on how we can color the last tick here and make sure that this is a different color compared to anything else. We will make sure that we get the index number of this and then we can pinpoint the color of it. So let's start to look how to do that. So let's start to look how to change the, the color of the last grid line in ChartJS. So first of all, what I need is to get the border template, which you can find here on ChartJS3.com getting started. So once you're on here, scroll down, and by the way, this link you can find as well in the description box. Copy this chunk of code here. Copy this, and if you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here. So then I'll just paste that in there. I'll cut out the title here, put the title in there. Save, refresh. All right, so now we have this, and then I will scroll down here and maximize the size of the chart. Say 80% should be more than enough. There we are. What I want to do is I want to color this specific grid line. To do this, all I have to do is I have to go into the scales and specifically the Y scale that I want to color. And then I want to grab that one. So how to do this? Well, first of all, I'm going to go into the grid area or in the grid object. If there on, if I do color here and I can just say here, for example, let's get one of our colors here. Let's get this red color here. I put this in here and I save this refresh now we have them all and that's not what I want I want to have a single one however this color is very useful for us we'll be using that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a callback functionality by making here this and then we just say here a function error expression and then I'll just comment out the color that I'm going to use later on and then what I want to do is of course let's look at what is going on here so what is that context or CTX that I'm using right now as I do this, you can see here there's no more color because we don't return a color yet. However, we get the object and in this object you can find here the index. Of course, it just grabs every tick and every tick is considered a separate index and it will just loop into that specific index. And you can see here the value of the tick is matching with it, a number 18. However, what I want to do is I want to grab and know all the ticks. So that means I need to go one level up. More specifically, I need to go to the Y scale specific to see all the ticks in an array. Because eventually I want to grab the last index, but I don't know how I find the last index in here. So what I'm going to do here is now do the following. Let's say here console log. And then we're going to say here ctx. And then we're going to say here dot chart. And if I do this, say we're going up basically one level or into the chart object itself. And from the chart object, we can go here into the scales. As you can see here, and I can say X or Y scales. So in our case, we just want to have the Y scale. And then if we go here, we look at the ticks. And you can see here the length of 10. And then here, index number 9, which is the 10th item or element. And that is 18. So this works. So let's go and grab this namespace, how we get here. So that's scale.y.ticks. So scales.y.ticks, save refresh and there we are now we get the full array here so let's get the length of this we say it dot length if i save that refresh we get down a value of 10. of course in an array we have zero base calculation so what i'm going to do here constant and we can just say it last tick equals the length then here minus one which makes sense this is an array itself. So once we have this, we have now the value here. So what I want to do next is to say here return, and let's return here our color. So I want to make this last value eventually red. If I save this right now, refresh, everything will be affected. And I don't want that. I want to make sure if we have the condition or we filter the condition, index number nine. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to create a very simple if statement. We say if. And I'm going to say ctx dot, what exactly? ctx dot index. If equal strict, and this will be equal to the last tick. In that case, what I want to do is return the color here. Basically, we just can do this. And else, if this is not the case, I just want to return the official chart.js color, which is basically uh, this color here, let's move all the space here first, and then we're going to say here 102, 102, and again 102, and then 0 0.2. If I save this, refresh, 
you can see here now the grid line are matching in color except for the last one so let's cross check this one more time what happened if I put in a very high value of 99 save that refresh and as you can see here now it will move up immediately and change as well and that's basically how we can play around with these ticks it will always read here the specific color that is the last one based on our structure here so if you enjoyed this video maybe you want to even control the ticks here while having a color specifically for the last tick in that case to control the steps here we have this video here on how to control the tick steps on the Y scale in chart.js